In this video, we'll cover the outline designer, what most people think of when they think of Elms. To get to the outline designer, have the Elms content feature installed, which is turned on by default whenever you create a new version. Then, inside a version, go over to Content Outline. Clicking Content Outline, you should see a tool that is hopefully familiar by now, which is the outline designer. This works with Drupal's native book functionality to make it a lot more usable. You can click and drag material around, and it will automatically update in the content outline on the side. You have to refresh the page to see this change, but I'll go back to the home page. You'll see that now, introduction has been moved to the top of the list. Some other capabilities of the outline designer can be seen through clicking this content operations button. So you have add content, the ability to rename this content, quick link off to edit it, another one to view it, the ability to delete this material, the ability to duplicate this material, change type, which is only useful in extreme circumstances, and the ability to hide this material. So, hide this material is very new to the outline designer, so let's try that first. Hide allows you to more or less make this invisible from people that don't have permission to see it. In our case, that's students. You can see that it's presented in the outline still, but is grayed out and crossed out to help you help enforce the fact that it's not actually visible to the world. This allows you to work on the outline while still presenting it to the end user, potentially without that item in it. So for example, if introduction isn't ready to go, but the course is starting, you could have other pieces of material in here. Uh, a better use case is probably that unit two and unit three aren't done yet, and so the pages are turned off in unit two and unit three. You'll see when I'm on this page, it also tries to reinforce the fact that not everyone can see it. And there's also a message in the notifications area for those that don't have the on-page version. Going back to the content outline here with the outline designer, these buttons will increase the visibility of those materials. You can click the open book to open all items in the outline and close book to close everything in the outline. And let's set that back to visible. There's also the ability to propagate this status should it be a nested hierarchy. We'll show that in a second. So I'm going to turn introduction back on. And based on the use case I just had a second ago, let's say unit three isn't ready for the semester, but the course has to start. So we're going to turn off unit three and everything under unit three, which is what the propagate status does. And you'll see these are now all disabled. Now, what I want to do, because I still want to communicate to students that Unit 3 is going to be there, I can go into this and we'll set Hide Content Off. Now, Unit 3 is visible, but everything in Unit 3 is not visible at this time. To showcase this fact, we'll go back to the home page of the course. And you'll see the outline is there as it was, but then when I go into Unit 3, all these lessons are grayed out and all the pages in them are grayed out. You can also use the outline designer to add content. So you can either clicking add content here will add it to the highest level of the hierarchy, or you can nest content. You can also rename this content, or you don't have to use that type of rename. You can double click on any item, faster rename, and just click enter which will then update the title, and that has been changed in the menus as well. You can hit edit, which will jump you off to the actual page. It's a quick link, uh, which you could get there in the outline anyway. The other option you have is to view, which will take you just a quick link to view that material. I can delete this, and you can also do a hierarchical delete, which will delete everything under it. It warns you that this action cannot be undone because it does actually remove it from the system. You can duplicate content, and you can actually define how many times you'd like to duplicate content. If you, you know, have a one really well done lesson and you want to pattern that, you can then make 15 copies for a 15 week semester as an example. We'll just duplicate this page once. And you'll see intro is now there. 